Okay, unit five, day four. Um, this is uh, looking at graphs of polynomials in a little bit more detail. Um, we've talked about the zeros, we've talked about the end behavior. Um, we're going to add a few more things to it. So um, I can use the graphing calculator to find zeros, end behavior, intervals of increasing and decreasing, intervals of positive and negative, and relative maximum and minima. Um, so first off, I'm just going to um, we'll go through and define them and then show where they're at on this picture. Okay, and, and when I say graphing calculator, you can use a graphing calculator um, or you could use Desmos. Um, so Desmos, this picture is actually taken from Desmos. It, it gives a much better picture for me when I'm trying to make a, a diagram for our notes. I use Desmos, so you could use that too. So first off, the zeros or the roots or the x-intercepts, all, they all mean the same thing. So these are the x values. Again, we're describing x values here where y equals zero, okay? So in this graph here, if you're looking at it closely, this is zero and it goes one, two, three, four. So um, negative three, so x equals negative three, um, negative two, zero, and it also looks like two. So those would be the, um, the zeros of this function just by looking at the graph. Now relative maximum, um, this the the definition well maybe just kind of overall just it's kind of the top of a hill think of it that way so the very top of a hill even though this isn't the highest the graph ever gets this is relative a maximum relatively so uh, compared to the stuff around it that is a high point so think of it as top of a hill top of a mountain um, so a relative maximum is the value of the function so the value of the function and when we say value, value means y value. Okay, so value of a function is y, where it happens is the x. Um, value of the function at an up to down turning point. Okay. So up to down, up to down turning point. This would be a down to up, so that's not a relative maximum. Okay. So on this picture, there is one spot where it turns from going up to down, and that's right here. The value, so the relative maximum on this is the y value, 6.035. And it happens when x equals negative 0.93. Okay, now if you're putting that on the calculator, um, well, maybe, maybe we'll show that later. I'll try to get an example on the calculator on how to find that on the calculator because there is a, a maximum um, value function on here where it finds max. Now, relative minimum, same thing. Okay, so same thing, but it's going to be a down to up turning point. So on the graph, where do you see some relative minimums? Down to up, right there, down to up, right there. So there's two of these. One of them would be the uh, negative 2.879, again, the y value, when x equals negative 2.574. Another one would be here, this value of negative 12.949, when x equals negative 1.254 okay uh, so those are relative relative is just when it turns okay now absolute means the highest the graph ever gets absolute maximum absolute minimum is the lowest the graph ever gets um, so on this one it's the maximum value maximum value i'm gonna pause it and write it here so it's a maximum value the function reaches over its domain. So domain being, on this one, the domain is negative infinity to infinity. So as I go left and as I go right, what's the highest this point ever gets? What well, actually goes up forever, but here's a twist. This can't be infinity, okay? Because infinity is not a number. When we say an absolute maximum, we want a number. So this one doesn't have an absolute maximum because it just keeps going. Um, so this one doesn't have one, so this one's none. So it's actually none. Absolute minimums, 
Same idea, except it's the minimum value. Okay, so minimum value, minimum value of the function over its domain can't be infinity. Okay, so this one, what's the lowest the graph ever gets? It gets pretty low here. It's at negative 2.879. Oh, but it's at negative 12 over here. So this one would be um, negative 12.949. Uh, intervals of increasing or decreasing it is just as I'm going from left to right. So left to right, what's going on? So where is this increasing is if I go from left to right? So as I'm coming from negative infinity, this is decreasing. It's going down, down, down. Right there, it starts increasing. So from here to there, it's increasing. So I'm going to use x values to describe this. Okay, so I use x values. So intervals, I'm going to use my x values. And... On this one, so this one gets, um, I mean, these numbers are ugly, but it's going from here to here, from there to there, is increasing. I'm going to use the x values to describe that. So over what interval? So, because we're talking, we're describing over what x values are the y values changing. You don't want to use y values to describe y values. You want to say over what x values are the y values going up. So this one would be from negative 2.574 up to negative 0 0.93. So here it's increasing, going up. It's also increasing over here. So from there to there it's decreasing, but from there on up it's increasing. So if, like this, it's increasing. So I'm going to describe that interval. Well, that would be, and we could just use a, a simple, this symbol means union. Um, you can put that in there. It means and. Um, so there's another interval. It's from 1.254 on to infinity. Okay? So these intervals are taken. They're increasing. Intervals worth decreasing. Again, we're going to read left to right. And for what x values are the y values going down? Right here they're going down. So from negative infinity up to negative 2.574. And then also... Here that's going down. From here to here, it's decreasing. It's going down. Okay, so it'd be from negative 0 0.93 up to 1.254. Get off the graph there a little bit. Okay, intervals where it's positive and negative. For this one, just use the x-axis as a guide. Okay, you're gonna cut it in half. So right here, if I cut that in half, all that stuff is positive. Because right there is the x-axis, if I cover it up just right here, like that. So from here to there, and then from there to there, and then from there on up. So I'm looking at zeros. The zeros are the cutoffs here. So from negative infinity to this zero, which is negative 3. So from negative infinity to negative 3, it's positive. From here to here, from negative 2 to zero, it's positive. That was off my screen. So from negative 2 to infinity. And then also, so it's positive, positive, positive. So that'd be from 2 to infinity. So from 2 to infinity. It's positive. Now where is it negative? I'll kind of do the, the opposite, go like this. And now I'm looking at from there to there and from there to there. So there's these two intervals here where it's below the x-axis. So this chunk right here and this chunk right here. Again, use x values. So 0 is going to help us. Negative 3 to negative 2. And then from 0 to 2. Okay. Now in behavior, we have talked um, in behavior is describing what are the y values doing. So what the y values are doing as x approaches infinity, which is going to the right, and negative, oh, plus, but negative infinity. So as you go to the left or the right, what's going on? So on this graph here, as I go to the left, my y values are going up. As I'm going to the right, my y values are going up. So I'll, for us, we'll just say up and up. Okay, so up and up on this one. 
you know, very quickly, I, I graphed this on my calculator. Um, so if I gave you the function and you had to put it in your calculator and find these, you can find the mins and maxes um, on the calculator. So we already talked about how to find the zeros. So you do a second calc, and you can use the second zero function. Well, if you notice, there's a minimum and there's a maximum uh, function here too. So let's say I want to find those minimums. Okay, so I said I want to find the minimum on the graph, which would be this or this. So I got options. Let's try to find that left one first. It's sort of like finding zeros. They want a left bound. So I just need to make sure I'm a little bit to the left of that zero. So left bound, a little bit to the left, hit enter. Then it wants a right bound. So just get your cursor a little bit to the right of where that, that minimum is. Hit enter. And then I guess, let's put it as close as you can, hit enter. And there's your negative 2.878898, which is awfully close to negative 2.879. You know, the um, Desmos rounded it a little bit. Um, so you can do that for mins, you can do it maxes, you know, play around with it a little bit. Um, this calculator can do a lot for you. Okay, now on the back side here, I didn't put anything over here. Um, maybe I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to write everything down we just did. So zeros, relative min, relative max, and all that stuff. Okay, so I want you to so maybe write these down. So maybe pause the video and write these down. Just zeros, relative max, relative min, absolute max, absolute min, and so on. And um, we'll try to fill them out here together. So maybe pause the video and write those down. And now um, try to fill these in. Okay, try to, so maybe the zeros. Where are the zeros at here? So I'm looking at the graph. It looks like each mark is worth one. This is negative four. So the, at x equals negative four, there's a zero. And when x equals one, there's a zero. Okay. Now try to fill in the mins and the maxes. So I say pause it and try to fill out the mins and the maxes, the, the relative min, the relative max. Keep in mind, we want y values for this. We want to get y values when we fill these in. Okay. So try to pause it and fill those in, just the, the next two. Okay, so here's the, the relative min and relative max. There's only one of each. So relative max was right here. That's the top of a hill, a positive to negative turning point. Here's a negative to positive, so a decrease to increasing turning point. So there's the minimum. Now I'll do absolute max and absolute mins. Uh, remember, the highest this thing ever goes is infinity, but we can't include infinity, so this is none. So what would the absolute minimum be? The absolute minimum would also be none, okay? Because it goes down forever, and negative infinity is not in numbers. So we don't want that. Intervals of increasing and decreasing. Try those out. Once you actually pause the video and try that out, okay? Just even if you just draw on the map or on the map on the graph, where is it increasing? Where is it decreasing? Okay, hopefully you got these two. So it is increasing from negative infinity to negative, or yeah, to, from negative infinity to negative four, and from negative 0.667, that's the x value, off to infinity. It is decreasing in between here. This is the only interval of decreasing is right here, so from negative four to negative 0.667. Now, where is a positive? So if you need to, just draw a line. Just draw a line here. Um, let's try to find another piece of paper here somewhere. So ignore these notes, these are pre-calc notes. Just go like this, uh, intervals where it's positive. If I cover this up, well, and here it's not positive at that point because it's zero at that point. So it's actually from here on up. So from one to infinity, it's positive. So from one to infinity, it's positive. It is negative, and be careful on this. It's not negative from negative infinity up to one. Because right here it's not negative. When x is negative 4, it's actually 0. So it's going to be negative from negative infinity up to negative 4, and then from negative 4 to 1, it's negative. But there's a moment there at, at when x is negative 4, it's not negative, it's 0. Now the end behavior on this one, going to the left is down, going to the right is up. Okay. So hopefully that'll help. I'm not going to, this video is almost 15 minutes. I'm going to cut it off here. We don't need to, to do this last one, um, I don't think. So if you have questions, let me know.